Hello. I need to talk. You can see my computer back there just finished editing a video. Okay, so that means that this video will come out tomorrow. So that video that you can see that just edited on my and posted on my on my YouTube, uh, I got a threat because of it. Yeah, I did. And you can say lies about me all you want. Did I lie in the video at all? Did I? Okay. No, because I didn't show her or her voice in the video. Um, estate sales and public places. You can say lies about me all you want. Estates and hills and public places. And I know the people running it. And I have just as much right to be there as you do. And if you don't, won't, don't, won't. That's exactly what it says. Oh, let me cover her name. It says, if you don't want. Sorry, I accidentally called that person and I didn't mean to. It went to voicemail. It was a mistake. I hope it never happens again. I was trying to cover up that person's name and put their way. Anyway, it says, if you don't want, right there. If you don't want me harming your video, she's threatening me. She's threatening me. She's threatening to harm my videos. That's why she is blocked from being able to comment on my videos. She is blocked from my Facebook page. Okay, so from harming your video, then I don't know what to tell you other than I will not stay out of estate sales just to please you. I did respond. And this is my exact response, and I'll show you. My exact response, you can see. Since I'm dyslexic, I'll just go ahead and read to you. I never said you cannot go to estate sales. I, it says sakes because I spelled it wrong. I was actually out on a bicycle ride trying to do a 12 mile ride because I'm riding to help childhood cancer. And she interrupted my 12 mile ride. Okay, so I misspelled the word. I said, you are welcome anywhere you want to be. I will not allow you in my videos on no matter how much it's hard for me to read okay so no matter how much you get in front of my camera which is what she kept doing at that video at that estate sale even trying to bring me things for clients that buy from me that I had intentionally passed up because my client told me that they didn't want that item anymore. But she wanted me to buy it. Like she thinks she's still a buyer for me. She's not a buyer for me. I asked her one time to go to the El Dorado um, citywide yard sale because I had to be out of state that weekend. And then she continued for a year to buy from me. And then she got to where instead of asking if I wanted stuff, she would just go buy it and then send me a message. You owe me $19. Never show me a receipt. Never show me price tags on anything. No. She just told me I owe her $19. Yeah, well, I put a stop to that too and that made her mad. Okay, so anyway. So... I will not allow your voice in my videos. I have First Amendment rights to video anyone I want in public places. And this is true. I do. Um, I do not want you in my videos at all. As 
especially since you threatened to sue me. I never tell lies, not to or for you. Have a great day. That is exactly my response to her threat. Okay, so that put a damper. I allowed that to, what do I want to say? To control my entire day. My thoughts for the whole day were about making this video right here because I allow this person to get in my head. I'm not making any threats. I don't threaten people. I have to be able to back up what I say, okay? And today I cannot afford to back up what I say. Because thinking about that and thinking about going and getting an attorney and thinking about this and thinking about that, I'm thinking about the fact that I'm also two house payments behind because I can't afford to make my house payments because I'm not making the sales that I was hoping I would make. And with doing this niche that I want to thrift for you, and I do want to thrift for everybody. If you see something in one of my videos that you want me to per that you want to purchase from me, just leave a timestamp down below. I'll be uh, I'll be happy. You can email me. Yeah, I need a timestamp in the description so I know what I'm holding back for you. And um, if you see the comments that have been left previously on the videos, you'll see how it's been done by other people. Uh, so anyway, if you see something in a store that I didn't purchase and you want that item, I'll be happy to try to go back. To, uh, I will go back to the store. I'll be happy to try to get the item. I can't guarantee that somebody else didn't purchase it. Somebody is not affiliated with me in any way other than she keeps trying to get under my skin and cause problems. She actually told me when I told her that I didn't want her in my store anymore and that our friendship was over, she had the nerve to tell me where I told her that people were telling me that if they drove by my store and her car was out front of my store, they would not stop because they did not like her. She actually told me well, I can park somewhere else on the parking lot where they can't see my car and I can walk into your store and spend the day with you. That is lying. That is asking me to lie to my customers. No, mm -mm. sorry, I won't do it. I won't do it. Because if I start lying to, to you, my customers, my clients, the people that are the reason I'm doing this. If I start lying to you for her, how long are you going to stick around? Yeah. Not very dadgum long if you think I'm lying to you about something. And how, what kind of person asks another person to lie for them or to lie to all their clients just so that they can be happy. No, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I believe 100% all through my heart that she is the reason that my store had to close. The main reason. Now there are more than one reasons. One, the main, one of them being that the utility company, the people at the utility company raised my bill every month until my March bill, the bill for the month that I closed my store, was $1,200. My store was an 800 square foot store. My rent for my store was $850 a month. Yeah, they were paying, charging me over $100 a square foot for my store to have lights on. 
or heat or air conditioning or anything like that. I have one client that pays me $500 a month for all the items. And she tries not to purchase more than that many items a month. But she's not able to let me ship items to her every month. Because it just happens that way. So there's a lot of things in my basement. She's a wonderful client. I don't want to lose her for anything. I have another client that doesn't watch my videos. But we have an understanding there are certain things, like you saw so many things sold out of today's video before the video was aired. That client, I, he has a place that he sells. He's a reseller as well. I'm not going to mention the place that he resells because if he wanted it known on my YouTube channel, he would be on my YouTube channel. It's that way. So, out of respect for him. And another client that also buys... Sorry, I scratched my nose and my teeth fell out. So, um, another client that also resells, and he does mostly glass items and stuff like that. And those two... I actually contact them with the items and I say, you know, do you want this before it goes on video so, you know, it doesn't get claimed by somebody else. And then I have another client who does watch my videos, but she also has my phone number. So she texts me. It came in as potential spam, but I think it was her. My phone didn't accept it. So anyway, so this other this other client, um, I know the things that she wants and the things that she collects. So if I see something, I will message her and say, do you want this before it goes on the video? And she will either yes or no. So that, that that's the way it works with me. My niche, is to thrift for the people who can't get out there and thrift in my area for themselves. Now, when you have a store to run or you have a place that you sell locally that it, because you're a reseller or if you're just a good friend, I have other good friends that I buy for that are just good friends and they get dibs on certain items. Some of the items never even make it into the video when I buy them because I know exactly where they're going to go and there's no reason for them to be in the video because there's something that I know I'm not even going to make a profit on. So, oh, it's hot in here. But anyway, so my niche that I'm trying to build, thanks to one of my wonderful clients. She is the one that started me on being able to thrift for people that can't thrift in my area. That's why I YouTube. She found me on YouTube. And through building a client, a, a what do I want to say? I don't want to say relationship with her because I've never spoken to her. I've never met her in person. I don't even know what she looks like. Now some people, sorry, I've got an itch right there and every time I crash it, scratch it, my teeth fall out because I've lost weight. And um, when I was running the store, I weighed 170 pounds and my goal weight is 130 pounds and currently I am 10 pounds away. So, and <clears throat> anyway, Sorry, <laughs> squirrel. So anyway, yeah, this wonderful client found me. And through thrifting for her, I just, it's what I like to do. So I can thrift for you. And what she does is she just leaves the timestamp in the bottom of the video. 
which because she's commenting on my video, she's helping my algorithms and she tells me the things that she wants and I have a big pile in my living room floor of things that I need to move downstairs. I have a whole room in my basement that is dedicated to just the items that she has purchased except it has my clothes hanging on a rack in there but the rest of the room is dedicated to her items and as she's able to get them shipped she tells me how many boxes she wants shipped at what weight usually it's less than 15 pounds so I'm not able to send a whole lot at one time because I have to really really wrap it really well for her because at the in the beginning a lot of items were not making it to her and so we we try to ensure that items make it to her very well or anybody anybody that i ship out to i try to make sure that the items get to them in one piece so it takes extra wrapping and so it takes i can't fit as many items in the box but that's fine as she can afford it or as she has the extra funds because she has a budget we all have budgets okay now granted I don't pay the bills in my house my husband does he's the one that earns the the all of the living for our house because what I make I just put right back into purchasing for you so but yeah leave me a timestamp in the bottom and if it's something that I didn't purchase, you can still leave a timestamp for that and I will try to go back and get it for you. And then when I get it, I need you to claim it on the next video. On the video you see me go back and get it, I need you to claim it on that video. Because if not, I've purchased something and I'm sitting here with it sitting in my living room floor and I'm tripping over it every day because you wanted it and I don't remember your name from the last video because this might be the first purchase from you. And I have tried once one person wanted me to go get go on a get wooden earrings because her one of her family members used to make wooden earrings. So for a while there I was trying to find wooden earrings. I've never seen another comment from the person. I've put wooden earrings on my page. She's never commented again. Somebody said something about um Something in one of the videos would be great for tortillas. I've seen tortillas, uh, holders, warmers, tortilla warmers, in two or three different Goodwills since then. And I videoed every one of them. I haven't purchased them. But I would be happy to go back to the store to get them. I, I see a black one and I see an off-white one. What color do you want? I'll go back to the store and I'll try to get one. If I can't find it at that store, because it might already be gone. I will keep looking until I find it. Like there's a plate that I'm looking for right now because one of my clients, I passed it up. I brought, I mentioned it that my aunt used to have a set like that back in the seventies when I was growing up. And one of my clients wanted one of those plates. Well, I wasn't able to get back the next day to get it because life happens even at my house. So when I did get back there, the plates were gone. I wasn't able to get it. So I'm still on the hunt for that plate. And I believe I remember she said she wanted the, not the saucer that you put a coffee cup on, but the bread side plates or salad plates or whatever. So I'm looking for those. And I'll find them somewhere, somewhere. I will at some point when the time's right. Hey, buddy, are you down here for me? Come here, baby. Come here, baby. He don't want to come up here. My cat's down here rubbing my feet. Come here. Say hi, Edward. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. So that's my Edward. Okay, so with that being said, I appreciate all of you. I, I couldn't do this without you, but I don't know how much longer I'll be able to thrift because like I said, 
briefly. We're two house payments behind. Our bank account stays in the negative. My husband says that I'm spending more than I'm selling, which is true, because the majority of what I purchase gets paid for or claimed, but there, there are items that don't get paid for or claimed. And then I need to list them on eBay. But eBay wants you to list five to 10 items a day. And for a long time, I wasn't listing anything because I was in a depression. I had no desire to list. I felt worthless. I felt like, what's the point? Um, I was trying to do everything for everybody and I was getting slapped in the face by many people that were in my circle, my immediate circle, by people that were in my immediate circle, not by you, none of my None of my YouTube family has hurt me in any way. I do wish you would start purchasing from me. I wish you would subscribe to my channel. I wish you'd comment. And if you don't want to leave a comment telling me what item you want, if you just leave a comment that says, I'm sending you an email of the items I'd like to claim, that would be, or, or just, just say I'm sending you an email. Um, because, whoops. My email's right there on my phone. I'm recording on another phone. So, if an email comes in, I get it right now. I might not be able to answer it right now because if I'm out on a bike ride, I usually don't answer, or if I'm out thrifting and recording a video I usually don't answer the email but I will get back to you within 24 hours and I'll let you know if the items still available and you can go through the comments and see if you want something and it's already been claimed by somebody else and just send me an email nancy at getlocker.com I will put it right where is it at right right there on the bottom of the screen where my pen is as, as close to there as I can I'll put it right there so yeah and then also I appreciate if you tell me the kind of things you'd like me to thrift things I can be looking out for currently I'm always on the lookout for crosses because I have a client that really likes crosses and the little praying angels or praying children and shadow boxes and I have a couple of clients that really like glass items and I have some people who like Wedgwood I have people who like trinket boxes like this I have people who like swung glass vases I have people who like milk glass, bakeware, you know, it's a variety. I'll be happy to thrift whatever you're looking for, for your collection. Thank you for listening. I appreciate every single one of you. If I lose viewers because of this, Okay, I'm sorry that I offended you, but I don't make a video like this every day. I don't make a video like this every month. I don't make a video like this every week. I let things build up until I get into such a depression because I know that I'm not doing my part to support my family because I was in a depression and I wasn't listing. Well, I'm back to listing, I mean, I have, I can't turn my neck to the left right now because of stress. So I have um, a table full of stuff over here that has gone up on eBay.
to date, so it has to go down to the basement now. So on, I got to get some shelves brought into what used to be my office, and and start putting the listed eBay down there. So that's that's part of my goal. So anyway, thank you for being here. Do something nice for someone, even if it's just make them smile. And get lockered. And tomorrow we'll have a. I have, I have some. Fabulous things coming up in video, in the next few videos that are still bagged up in my living room. Fabulous things. You're going to want to see those videos. I promise you. But thanks for being here. Thank you for subscribing. And please leave a comment. Tell me if you don't like these kind of videos. Tell me if you do like these kind of videos. Tell me if you understand. Tell me if you've got a suggestion, something I can do better. Because I'm always willing to learn. Unless it's that right there. Whoops, where's that? Right there. Because I can't understand computers. I'm able to get items listed onto eBay. But no matter how hard I try, I'm not able to get them onto my website. And my husband doesn't have time to get them on my website. So... I asked him to help me the other day, and he helped me, and then we got to a point where I thought I could go from there and do it by myself. So, since he had to get up at 3 o'clock the next morning, I was like, okay, you go on to bed, I'm going to try to do it by myself. I had 19 copies of the same image downloaded onto my website. Well, no, onto how it would get on my website, and into the little folder thingy to get it on my web website. And I couldn't get it on my webpage. Couldn't get it on my webpage. So I gave up. And I told my husband, I said, maybe when you're home. Because he has to come home to have a medical procedure done this in September. And he'll be home for four or five days. So um, I said, maybe when you're home, you can talk me through it. And I can write it down step by step how to do it. So that maybe I can understand and maybe I can start getting things put on my website. Because I cannot figure it out. He's the one that went to school to build websites. He's the one that has the double master's degree in visual communications and design. I don't. I don't even turn it on because I leave it on. Now I know if the power goes out, I have to turn it on. It's just push a button. I'm not that dumb. And I am able to edit my own videos every morning. So, yeah. I exaggerate a little bit, but I'm not lying. I don't know how to get things from point A to point B. If I'm trying to list things on eBay, I have to call my husband every time and say, how do I get it from my phone to my laptop? Because I list all my eBay on my laptop. Because... That way I'm not filling the hard drive on that computer because it's full of videos. My hard drive is full of eBay. I, my, my laptop, I'm sorry, is full of eBay. And so because tab, uh, videos come off of here or off of the phone that I'm looking at right now, the phone that you're sitting in, or it comes off of my, I don't know where my tablet is, it was right here. I was charging it, but it got charged up. So anyway, yeah, that's how it works. If I had somebody that could help me list items, if I had somebody that could teach me how to do the website part of it, my husband will teach me. It's not that he won't. He will, but he doesn't have time because currently he's driving somewhere from Florida. He did a pickup in Florida this afternoon. He's got to drop it off <clears throat> in North Little Rock. And then he's got to go to, I think he said he was going to Oregon or back to Pennsylvania or somewhere. I don't remember. But he goes everywhere. So when you're driving 12, 14 hours a day, you don't have time to be on websites. So... Yeah, that's the way life works. So thanks for being here. Do something nice for someone, even if it's just 
make them smile for today and get lockered. I'll see you tomorrow.